Vibes Marina, and we are back with High Energy Fitness Musical Health Talk. And I am here with Steve Feinberg, Galad. And uh, I've slowed the tempo down, you guys, to 90 beats per minute. Yes, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Chest is high. So I did this for you, Galad, Lord of the Abs. Slowing the music down? That's right. Okay, we can handle it. What do you think? I think we can do it. So this is not, this is good for crunches or for ab work. What do you think? Absolutely. The yes. feel. Yes. yes, and also using maybe if you're using like a heavy ball. Okay. A uh, medicine ball, you might, you know, you want to slow down a little bit because you really want to feel the muscles. You want to work deep into the muscle. You want to take your time. Excellent. You don't want to use momentum. Excellent. So the slow Loving music it. definitely helps. Loving it. And I picked this lyric for you too. Notion of the motion. No. Notion, notion of, the, of motion. the motion. Take that. You got it. <laughs> Come on, feel it, people. Keep that core engaged. Keep it nice and tight. Never stop moving. You got it. Come on, feel it. Feel it. The notion of the motion. Got my violin out on this one, too. The notion of the motion. Oh, I love it. And Galad is here in the studio. I mean, if you're watching us today, fabulous. You see Galad, but just for our listeners, I gave Galad a fabulous chair that goes all the way back, and he literally was placing his hands behind his head. His his shoulders are down, his elbows are out, his abdominals are engaged, and he's literally doing crunches in the chair, going side to side and breathing perfectly. I mean, you can't see him, but I'm hearing him. Perfect. Give me four more. Four more. Give me four more. Here we go. And take it, five, six, seven, eight, and four, down, and three, and down, and two, and down, and one, notion, he's got it going on, come on! Notion of the motion. Love it. The notion of love that, Galad, because that's the point. To our listeners at home, sit up nice and tall, abdominal muscles in and up, chest is high, squeeze the inner thighs together. And here's another simple one for you. You ready? Mm -hmm. Pick your feet up one inch off the floor. If you're at a basic level of fitness, hold on to the front of the chair. I see that Galad grabbed on for dear life. I just have to tell our listeners, (laughs) Mr. Lord of the Abs, for dear life, because he's an old gentle like me, and that's why. So anyway, but I hold on to But anyway, if you just pick up your feet, Galad, give little presses. Yeah. Little presses. Yep. Our chest is high. Galad's spine is nice and straight. Nobody stands as straight as Galad, though. He's the best posture of anybody oh, in yeah. the world. Yeah, yeah. constantly. Oh, Every, everywhere Gorgeous. he walks, if you watch him walking from a distance, you watch people. If you watch people watch him walk yes. on the beach, it's impossible to sort of not look. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, because he's his strides. There's a, it's, it's, there's a stride to you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay here for a while because you my like head it? is getting very big. Gorgeous, fabulous. But nobody walks with you. I mean, <laughs> you know, I. I'm really a dancer. I took my first ballet class in 1964 here in New yeah. York at the American Ballet Theater. Wow. And so I'm very attuned to that. So when yeah. I walk, but it, it makes sense to me. Why wouldn't you be? You're Galad. You You're know what? Fabulous. I, here's the thing. I, <laughs> I learned a lot of this stuff in track and field because with track and field, if you want to throw a discus further, okay. the form's got to be perfect. Sure. If you want to, you know, put the shot further, you got to have a perfect form if you want to run faster. So all these things with the core that, you know, today it's like I want to have a core and I want to make my core stronger. We were training back then 35 years ago already this way. Right. Okay, because that's key to track and field. Sure. Having the perfect technique for that extra split second or that extra, you know, inch of of throwing a javelin. And um, I see it a lot in classes when people do the punching because what they think they see is not what actually is happening. Because if you see somebody doing it, like it's like a dancer. Sure. If a dancer is very good at what he does, it looks so effortless and so easy. Yes. But for somebody who's not trained that way to go up and do it, it's almost impossible because you have to break it down to the very basics. So what I see a lot in classes doing, let's say in a a jab, jabbing class, right? Uh, Kickboxing class is that people, they try to follow the move because they think that that move is really big. Okay. So they always throw the, 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 the punch way beyond their center line. Okay. Uh, and that causes them to go off balance. And then right. it causes a lot of body parts to compensate, the lower back, the hamstring. The, yes. So the main thing is to keep you know the center of your body between the legs, yes. right? Yes, Even when you throw, you never go beyond. Yes. The legs, the, 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 legs, the, the lower part of the body is always the base. Planted like a tree. Planted like a tree. But you know something, it's a 
same thing for really for any kind of arts, even as a singer. You know, we talk about circular breathing, aerobic breathing, um, Sanchin in the martial arts. I did that for my husband. His brother wrote the Karate Kid movies, and he's like a triple degree black belt. So I, I have to always do this karate I thing. I come from martial arts all my life. Do. It's the same stuff. I know you it's do. Fabulous. So it's all circular breathing. But even as a singer, it's all about planting, keeping the core engaged, breathe, breathing into your back. Your lungs are in your back, yeah? Aerobic breathing. So for those of you out there that are alone, or if you want to just, you know, sing out today, if you're on a treadmill, I always sing on a treadmill. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and keep that core engaged. Keep that center tight, yeah? Feel the beat. You got it. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. You got it. Go. Again, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. You feel it. Oh, I love it. I love Galad. Inhale through the nose. <laughs> Exhale through the mouth. Well, you're very supportive. You're very supportive. You're fabulous. You're fabulous. The song is called Waiting Time, guys. You know, I never get on a scale. I, I talk about this a lot because I'm five foot three and I used to weigh 215 pounds. And I don't really like to get on the scale. So I kind of wrote this song as like a spoof. Wait in time. Waiting time again. All right, well, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. This is Marina, and you're listening to High Energy Fitness Musical Health Talk, and I'm here with Stephen Feinberg and Galad, who has a new series out called Lord of the Abs on DVD. It's very cool. fabulous. Talking about the center. Very hot, very hot. Very hot. So now we're going to talk about the quads, and I want our listeners to really think about this. If you're at home, even at work, if you're at school, unless the teacher's watching, I want you to kind of scoot your chair out from your tuchus, from your bottom. That's the interpretation, from your buttocks. buttocks. And I want you simply just to lift your buttocks off the chair and you're going to just sit into a squat. And your my knees are over my ankles, my abdominal muscles are in and up, my chest is high, my shoulders are down, my chin is down as well. Give me little presses up and down. You got it, you got it. Get on down, get to it and squat. Little pulses, little presses. Feel it. Ah, oh, feel it. You wrote press. A whole song press. To the ode to the uh, squat. That's you got it. Oh, Stephen Feinberg is doing it. What do you think, Stephen? Feeling it? Nothing You're doing it. Little isometrics. Perfect. I dig it. Perfect. <laughs> I would expect you I'm to do it well. I would hope not. Good. You know, I, but I, like I said, you know, I'm over the age of 50 and gravity is taking over, so I need all the squats I can get. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Squats are good. Well, you'll see. You'll see. I'll Steve see. Feinberg's doing it today. You got it, squat. What to say? Squad. enough of that. I have to sit down now. Did you feel a burn on top of your quads? Uh, you know, absolutely. And let me tell you something. I think that a lot of exercise that we can do in the chair, Yes. Um, you don't even, almost don't have, we did squats, so we yes. kind of left the chair a little bit, right? A little bit. But you can do exercises that you don't even have to leave the chair. And because a lot of people are, you know, they can't. Yes. Older or if they're tied to a, you know, a chair. Absolutely. Uh, and you can do just flexing motions. Yes. And I find, I find through experience that if you do flexing motions and you hold a muscle, yes. and there's many ways to do it, but you can really strengthen the muscle. Okay. And, and get it going. Perfect. So even even abdominal exercise, right? Yes. If you do, just sit in a chair, yes. And if you just, you know, contract your abdominal muscles and exhale. Totally. And as you exhale in, the contraction goes deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Yes. Then you take a deep breath and you relax. If yes. you do that 10, 15 times. Yes. You're gonna feel your abs. You bet. I love Galad. He's just such an agreement with me. He knows what he's talking about. Don't listen to everybody else. Just listen to Galad today. Yeah, you know. I Yes. We actually did a, um, a workout this like in the mid-90s for TWA. Okay. And it was in the chair for overnight flights. The so people that were flying like for 11 hours, we did a workout where they can actually stretch in the chair. We did all kinds of, you know, turns to the side and twists. Fantastic. Shoulder rolls. I mean, there's so much so stuff many you things, can do. So many things, I can give you a one and a half hour workout just off the top of my head on the chair. Totally. Totally. Oh, it's right. so simple. I mean, that's why I really stress that with people because, you know, we're hearing this all the time. I don't have the money to go to the gym. I certainly don't have the time. I mean, certainly I've raised three children, I've run a business. Yeah. Uh, who has the time to go to these gyms and then come home and pick up the kids from school or whatever the case may be? So these little things that we're talking about. Yes. Keeping the body engaged. Yes. Keeping your sense of center. Absolutely. But there's one thing that we have to add, I think, to this. Yes, and that please. is that if people say, okay, I can do it whenever I want to do it, they never do it. Yes. So you, even if you're going to do 15 minutes a day okay. and you're going to do it in your chair when okay. your kids are off to school or just before they're coming or whatever it is. Yes. 
take those 15 minutes yes and make that 15 minutes your workout yes so if you can do 30 minutes better okay but whatever it is that you're doing make the commitment with yourself okay. for that time of day that you know you're going to make it happen perfect love it and so people that are listening today they're listening to high energy fitness musical health talk and this is Maureen. I'm here with Galad, Stephen Feinberg. Make your moments count. Do something good for you today, yeah, with your musical health. You got it going on, guys. Song is called Squat from HighEnergyFitness.com. You got it. Come on, feel it. Let's squat. Get on down, get to it. A little more. I'm doing a little more squats. I need them because this might be my only workout today, Galad. It might be. So I'm motivating myself with Galad today. <laughs> and I did. I got off the chair. I got off the chair. I'm seeing how low I can go. Abdominals are in. Chin is down. Shoulders are down. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. All right. Well, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. That's enough. I'll go for a walk later. I like to walk in place because that's what I encourage people to do also that are listening to simply get up and walk yes. in place Absolutely. whenever possible. Yeah. Such a simple thing to do. Yeah? So yeah. And effective. And effective. You bet. Of course. Anything is better than nothing, Galad. Absolutely. Start somewhere. I mean, these fitness programs, let's talk about these fitness programs a little yeah. bit. I mean, we yeah. don't have to name anybody. No, no name anybody. We're not going to be mean. No. Just, okay. we're just naming Lord, Lord of the Abs. That's, that's right. Lord of the that's Abs. Right. That's all we're talking about today is Lord of the Abs. Galad's Lord of the Abs. Let's see how many times I can say it today. Okay. So um, here's the bottom line. Simplicity. Making it fun. Making it a little, you know... A little sexy, too. I mean, you know, listen, I, I can't really talk about that. I'm 50 years old and I'm a Jewish wife and all those, you know, jokes that come into play and all that. But that's for another show. That's not for this show. It's a wholesome show. Uh, it's very PC here. But, uh, but anyway, the bottom line is keeping the body tight, having a sense of you, of yes. your own soul. Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Totally. Yes. And yeah, I think that, that that is the key because that's that's your motive, that's your source of motivation. Yes, you got to find it inside of you because, right. like they say, many times you can you know people know yes I'm supposed to stop smoking. Yes, yes I know I have to lose weight. Yes. Uh, I know I know I know, but they're not doing anything about it. That's right. Uh, ultimately, the decision has to come from them I tried. at some point. That's right. And if they yeah. fall off the wagon, Galat, I always tell people, so what? Who cares? Exactly. Next moment, just so get what? back on. Right. The moment is now. Yes. What you did today, you know, a lot of people, they feel guilty about the fact that they fell off the wagon. So they go, okay, I'm just, you know, I just fell off the wagon. I feel so bad about myself. I'm going to continue feeling bad about myself. Yes. You got to make a stop and say, okay, I did it yesterday. Today's a new start. Totally. Start from scratch. You don't have to, totally. you don't have to pick up where you left off. You yes. start at the beginning again. Go yes. back for the basics. Take a few days to get yourself back on track. And then you... Rock and roll. Absolutely. There. Absolutely. Right, Steve? Is this what yeah. you tell your clients? I, I Actually, a lot of things that we just talked about, um, I'll run into people who I haven't seen in a while, and I'll see them on the street. And, you know, I teach classes regularly, not just I'm, I'm in the gym market and the home market. And yeah. when I see people, immediately, if it's someone I haven't seen in a while, what do they do first? Begin to explain why they haven't been to class <laughs> or why they haven't seen me, right? <laughs> and I, I immediately say, stop. I just want to say hi. Yeah. Right. Well, they're embarrassed. Person. Right. They get embarrassed. Yeah. But the minute you take that away, that pressure away, yes. and you just say, hi, how are you? Then, towards the end, you can say, okay, so yes. come visit me when you can. Yes. And I think that, that people take put so much pressure on themselves that they end up back-ending themselves and they end up trapping themselves in a box. So if you fell off or you slowed down when you yeah. feel like it, you feel ready, pick it back up. Totally. I, I agree. I yeah. mean, you know, I don't like all this. I, I don't know what your perspective is. I know Galat agrees with me. But I don't like all this yelling. I mean, I don't like I hate it. I don't um, like to be yelled at. I, you know, I was a fluffy person. I don't, I don't like yeah. it, man. Listen, I went to the military. I got yeah. yelled at and I used to <laughs> right. yell at. Oy. I've been away from that for many years, and when I, don't I see, see you it, yelling I, at anybody, when I see it today, I think it's like well, you got to be kidding me. I mean, it's oh, uh, yeah. to me, it's abusive, but oh, yeah. you know, it makes for good television sometimes. I guess so. Yeah. I guess. No. And Steve, you know, you mentioned this too that some people do respond, but I, I would say that most people that have any kind of a weight issue, and and this is emotional. I mean, it's embarrassing for people. You know, I'm going to tell you, right. and. Uh, you know, you were fluffy as a teenager. I was, I was. So you know, you know the deal. Yeah, no, I'm I'm much more for kindness than for, I'm much okay. more a cheerleader than a commander. Yeah, I see you that. Know, and I, I find, you got a happy look. I find it works better. Okay. I'm like you, I'm a singer. I sing yeah. to people. There you go. Yeah, make them feel good. So He's, we have to edutain people. Yes. He sings in his classes. Yeah, well, yeah. see? Huh? See, so now you know. So I appreciate this. I'm sure you do. <laughs> yeah, All right, so you'll appreciate this. As important as body conditioning and cardio is stretch and relaxation. The song is called Say Om. I wrote a whole album called Om. I did a lot of music for Lululemon and like that. I like Lululemon. I do like events for them. I like it. Yeah, totally. I mean, we like them. We like Lululemon. Yeah. 
And I got, you know, I got a, like a little bit of my, my Jewish vibe in here, too. I had to... <laughs> I'm going to dove it. I want to rock with it, yeah. I'm going to rock, totally. Just a little. Yeah. 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 Just relaxing. My head's covered. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Stretch and relaxation. It's your time. Take a moment for you. Thank you, Steve Feinberg, for being with Marina today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Lovely. Love it to have you here. Fantastic. We have to sing something together. I would love to. We'll record something. Okay. I'll totally. come in. I'll visit again. Perfect. I'll write something new. Great. Fabulous. Galad, thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Love it. It's wonderful. Feeling it. Feeling it, guys. This is Marina. You've been listening to High Energy Fitness Musical Health Talk. I've been here with Steve Feinberg, Galad. Look for his new DVD series, Lord of the Abs, yeah? Be good to you. Feel proud of the work you have done for you today, yeah? Even if it was just inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, abdominals in and up and checking your alignment, that's wonderful. That's fine. Feel good about it, yeah? If you were up with us and walking or bopping in place, you sweat a little, you burned a little calories. You got it going on. The song is called Ohm from HighEnergyFitness.com. This is Marina. Feel the beat. Yeah, it makes you want to do breathing patterns, right? I know. Perfect. <laughs>